And there's always parameters to it. Backing up to the original conversation between you and our Arminian in the front row, um, it seems like. No, I'm an OSDS. Yeah, but I mean, you don't act like one. I don't even know if you're loyal anymore, man. You've jumped. All right. All right. The heretic in the front row, yeah, okay, I know you don't want to. Um, I would say, and here, you know, openness folks talk differently about things, but um, I don't like the phrase God is in time, as though God is, as, as though time is sort of a box that either you're in or out of. Yeah. That's a spatialization of time that I think is a wrong use of the metaphor. Um, I don't have any reason to think, you know, time is the measurement of change. Uh, I don't have any reason to think that God measures time the way we do. Um, and so I wouldn't want to say God is in our construct of time. Uh, the, to me, the, the important issue is this. Is God in sequence or not? In other words, does God have a before and after? And I think a great deal hangs on that. If God doesn't have a before and after, he's eternally the same, now you have all sorts of uh, uh, metaphysical and biblical problems uh, that, you know, as to how you interact and respond. How, how can a frozen blick from eternity be personal and interactive and decide things and change his mind and die on a cross and those sorts of things? For, so, uh, for, to me, being a, 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 in sequence is the essence of being a personal being and to be related in sequence uh, where, where there's a give and take in the now. Um, that is, I think, absolutely essential. But I, I, don't, I have no reason to think that God measures time at all like we do. I, think, I, I suspect that all of this epic, which has gone on for billions of years, is to God a blink of an eye. Uh, you know, in, in the same reason, for the same reason that my year this year will be uh, experience twice as fast as my 25-year-old daughter because <laughs> I have a lot more to measure it against. Well, if God's always existed and always will exist, any duration of time is infinitesimally small. So I think, you know, a day with us is a thousand years and a thousand years like a day. So I don't think it measures time the way we do. In terms of the distinction between being in sequence and being in time, your example is talking about more in terms of perspective, but is there more of a, is there something more ontological there in the difference than, than just perspective or I'm not quite following the distinction um, yeah I, I, I think there's something ontological um, it, what, what I think is ontological to a personal being is sequence a before and after and that personal relationship requires that we are we are in sync uh, my now is your now at least enough so us for so we can relate together how we measure that will I don't think is, is an important issue and I think we go off on all sorts of weird stuff and go down wrong tracks because we bring time into the equation. Um, to me, the, 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 uh, uh, the most fundamental question is this. Why would anyone think, why would it occur to anyone, certainly anyone who believes in the Bible, that a being who is outside of any sequence, a being who doesn't have a before or after, is more perfect than a being who does have a before and after? Now, I know why Plato thought that, and even why Parmenides thought that, and that's part of the Hellenistic tradition, and they had this definition of perfection where, you know, you can only change for better or for worse, so whatever's perfect can never change in any respect. I think it's completely muddled thinking. Um, and so I, it comes back to the, but it's so pervasive now, people are like, you're limiting God, I mean, you know, because you think he's, he's in, you know, in time. And uh, I, to me, a personal being is, is superior to an abstract formula for this reason. I have a before and after, and I can relate my before and after to you, and we can impact one another. If that's true for us, I think it's very true of, of, of God, as it's revealed in Scripture. 